My name is Maria Baker, and this is my UHD story. I became a student at the University of Houston downtown uh, in 2014. And the reason why I chose the University of Houston downtown is because my husband said, oh, you have to go there. They have the most amazing criminal justice department. I said, okay. For so many years, I didn't know that I wanted to do this because I was such an indecise, indecisive teenager after I graduated from high school. So after spending some time taking classes at HCC and the University of Houston main campus, I got married. And I had his, we had a son, his name is Michael Peter. He is 17 years old and he just graduated from high school. During that time, I was busy homeschooling him for the last 12 years. And we just culminated that journey with him last Saturday. And um, two years ago, I made the decision that as he was transitioning somewhat out of the homeschool um, education type because he was taking dual credit courses and he was really more of a college high school high school college student that I wanted to finish what I started and, and I decided to come back to school. I have been mainly an online student so all of this life here became new to me since I took a English a legal writing course this past semester with Dr. Michael Dressman and it was an adventure. My husband drove me twice a week, which was wonderful because for so many years we haven't been able to do a lot of things together. Me busy homeschooling and driving my son around and him working and doing other stuff. So this was a fun thing to enjoy together. And I became involved in, the, um, in some of the activities offered here and I got to see firsthand all the amazing opportunities that these students talked about that I had never heard of because I'd always been an online student. However, uh, as I'm going along, just minding my business in my online classes, I decided to take field experience with Dr. Janice Ahmad, and that was an internship that I did at the Fort Wayne County Sheriff's Office. I did a project, a research project, that actually ended up winning some accolades and gave me the opportunity to present it here orally at the student research conference, which was an amazing experience. I did not think when I started out last summer that it would actually have this um, effect, that it was going to be uh, such a uh, an opportunity, give me so many opportunities and expose me to so many things here on campus that I would have never been exposed to had I just been in my little bubble at home taking my homeschool, I mean, I'm sorry, my uh, online classes at home. So I am incredibly um, blessed to have met so many wonderful professors. I felt so proud after seeing the students perform at the student research conference and all the work that they put into in the different academic disciplines. I felt so proud to be part of the University of Houston downtown criminal justice department because the, in the women, the professors are so unbelievable. I felt so empowered just by their encouragement. And it just meant the world to me to see Dr. Anand and Dr. Lee Van Horn being there. I felt like I was part of a cheerleading squad and they were out there with their popcorns cheering me on and it felt wonderful. I have never thought that I would experience that. So I am incredibly honored and privileged to be part of this team, this uh, the students and the classes are wonderful. I fell in love, I've discovered a lot of things as a student that I didn't know that I liked. Uh, two years ago, I took statistics with Dr. Marilyn McShane, and she was just wonderful. And she is the one who gave me, who, who sort of introduced me to Dr. Ahmad and gave her a, um, a recommendation of placing me for the field experience, etc. But I had a wonderful opportunity because I discovered that I love inferential statistics. 
I would have never thought that I like that stuff. But it was a journey of discovery. And um, the classes, I have been very impressed with the classes, the professors that I have had the privilege of being um, students for have been incredibly supportive, very knowledgeable, and they really care. And they want to um, give students opportunities, and they're really good at reaching out and not letting you stay at your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. For example, in Dr. McShane's online class, she said, you have 14 quizzes, but to make an A, you only have to take 12. And seeing that I had been doing well in the class, she emailed me as if she was reading my mind because I was contemplating whether I should take the 12 quizzes or just go for the 14 quizzes. And at the nick of time, she sent me an email and she said, don't you dare think about just ending at 12. Go for the 14. And I'm like, you got it. I'm doing it. So I just, uh, I am very thankful for her professionalism, but also for taking on that responsibility for reaching out to a student she saw potential in. And it just really encouraged me to want to pursue excellence. It was a learning, that little encounter taught me something, and that is push for excellence. Don't just settle for what you already know you can do. And so it exposed me to other aspects of statistics and things like that. And then, um, then I had the opportunity to meet Dr. Blackburn through the recommendation of Dr. William Williams and Dr. McShane, and also Dr. Ahmad. And we are currently she's allowing me to collaborate in a manuscript for a research that she is uh, working on. Or yes. And I am just so thrilled. I am so thrilled. I would have never seen myself in five years. I told my son, um, five years ago when I was sitting at this little table in our home teaching lessons, ABCs, whatever, I never thought that I would find myself uh, here with all of these wonderful opportunities. But I realized that it is hard work. Hard work is recognized and it's honored. And I am thankful that no teacher felt that they, 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 they set the ground level for everyone, everyone. However, you have a choice as to whether you want to stand out or not. And I have always been of the mindset that whatever you do, you do it heartily as to the Lord. You don't do it for necessarily for yourself because God will use anything, but he will honor hard work as well. And I, when I did the research at the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office, my goal was the success of the lieutenant who had entrusted me with the project. My goal was to make him look good. That was my first and foremost um, purpose, that I wanted to do this in such a way that it would be professional and that it would make him look good before his peers, before the sheriff, and that he will not feel sorry that he gave it to me, although he knew that I didn't have all the experience um, of a, you know, um, I was just an amateur, I was green. So he, um, I wanted to make sure that he felt confident to the very end that he did the right thing, that he made the right choice. And that is my, my ethic, per se, to, to work with people. We all have plans and goals and we all want to get somewhere, but we're, but we're always looking after the people who are behind us, helping us and encouraging us, then we're not going to lack opportunity. We're not going to lack paths and roadways that will be open when you are faithful, when you are committed, when you give it all, no matter what. When I told Dr. Blackburn that my son was about to graduate from homeschool and a long journey and all that stuff, she said, well, you probably won't work on anything as hard as you did for those 12 years. 
And I thought about it and I said, why would I not tackle everything in my life with the exact same intensity? And so I am just tan ready and rested. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Um, I, I am excited, I am thrilled, and I can't wait. Um, I, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to not only reach my goals, but to see to that others also reach their goals, is to help those um, coming alongside others, to encourage them just as I have been encouraged, given the same measure that has been given to me. And I think that's all incredible, incredibly important, especially in a career of public service. Service is the highest honor we can pay our fellow men. It is serving, not to be served. To be a pioneer, to be courageous, to be bold, to be, um, and to care about people, to care about their needs, to care about where they are, knowing and having the wisdom and the discernment to know where to meet them because we're not all in, in the same journeys in life. We all have um, different commitments, we're all going different places, but when our lives converge, I think that we can really work together and improve, or it's like iron sharpening iron, we can help each other out.